This is a call for an uprising. Welcome to today's show, everybody. I wanted to do a video on the RFID microchip. I've been reading a few stories the past week or so about the microchip, about what's going on in Australia with the microchip, and then other news outlets out there talking about how the human chip implants are moving into the mainstream. As this article says, human chip implants move mainstream despite mark of beast fears. Now, I know a lot of people have their own interpretation of what the mark of the beast is, and you're obviously entitled to your interpretation of what it will be and what's going to happen here in the future. You're allowed to speculate and decide on your own, use your own discernment. A lot of people out there do believe that the mark of the beast will indeed be the RFID microchip that will be implanted into people's hands or foreheads, which some believe will be forced upon people as they move to an electronic currency, as they get rid of cash, as we've already seen with PayPal and the commercials that they air. We know that they're heading towards a cashless society where they want everybody to be microchipped, have all your information in this chip, including your social security, your personal information, your bank, all everything, money, everything will be through the chip. But I've talked about it on this channel with the mark of the beast, if it is indeed the RFID chip, which I do believe it is, that they're going to push it into the mainstream and they're going to use celebrities to pump this garbage out. They're going to have, you know, Kim Kardashian, Kanye. You know, I just talked about them recently with the VMA awards and how they're even up there saying, wow, we have so much influence over people. And we're, you know, we're the real rulers of the world because, you know, we can manipulate and we can control people and we can tell them what to do. And they're going to start using them for things like this. We already see them using celebrities and people of fame and power out there to push agendas such as the transgender agenda, the race war, gun control, all of this stuff. Anytime they get a chance, global warming, anytime they're on stage in front of a large audience where they know that the audience out there, you know, it's a very big audience like at the Grammys or the VMAs or the Super Bowl, they will push these things. Soon we'll be seeing celebrities in the United States of America pushing for the RFID chip, telling people, hey, look how great it is. You know, they'll probably do some type of scare tactic where there's a cyber attack and they claim that so many people had money stolen. They use fear to get people to say, this is safer, this is secure. Who cares about the crazy people who think it might be the mark of the beast and stuff like that? And obviously people will go along with stuff like this and they'll think it's fine. So let me read you some stuff from these articles about the uh, RFID chip and how even some websites are saying that uh, the imp they're gonna planning on imp implanting us all with the chip by 2017. There are actually people in Australia that are paying eighty to one hundred and fifty dollars to receive the implant through a company called Chip My Life. Uh, the company arranges for its doctors to insert the microchip. They do minor surgery, Botox, and so on. They give you a local, an injection, and a quick ultrasound to make sure it's in place. Okay, obviously we know the microchip technology has been here for a while. They actually microchip animals in a lot of countries. You're not allowed to travel unless the animal's microchipped. But also, we've seen. You know, I did a video on a guy on BuzzFeed who got the microchip. You know, so that he can go buy a sandwich at his local deli with the microchip. He thought it was the coolest thing ever, so he took the microchip into his hand. So there are people who are, you know, they're testing this technology on. There's Obviously, there's no secret about that. A lot of us know it. But what they're talking about here is pushing it into the mainstream. So we're seeing people in Australia, they already have a business set up. You know, where you can go and pay to have this technology put into you, like I said, to $80 to $150 to get the RFID chip. For those of you that don't know what the RFID chip is, it stands for Radio Frequency Identification. Okay, it uses electromagnetic fields to automatically identify and track tags attached to objects, including an implanted chip which they also will have the technology to use as a, you know, to keep your money and all those things electronically. Uh, you won't be able to buy or sell goods without having the RFID microchip. As we read about in Revelation, that no man will be able to do it without the mark of the beast. That's why a lot of people believe the RFID chip is indeed the mark. But what you're going to see also is you're going to see a lot of articles come out that are going to actually talk about the mark of the beast with the RFID chip, which to me gives more credence that it really is going to be the mark of the beast. Now, why do I say that? Well, for starters, we know that the mainstream media only brings attention to these things to discredit it. So in a lot of these articles, when you hear about the RFID chip, they're going out of their way to quote, you know, put Mark of the Beast uh, you know, in quotations and then to reference the Mark of the Beast and actually give the scripture about the Mark of the Beast in these articles. This is how the elitists operate, right? I talk about it all the time. They won't bring attention to it unless, they're, you know, they, unless they know they need to discredit it. So if they're going to bring attention to it and then mock it and say, oh, you know, the RFID chip is here, 
more and more people are using it. It's becoming mainstream, even though there's crazy people who believe it's the mark of the beast. Don't buy it, folks. That's what they do when truth is actually coming out. They have to make mockery of it. Like I've said, you know, many times recently, Obama bringing light to the elections not being being real, right? Because Trump brought it up. And a lot of people were, you know, a lot of people have been thinking about that for years, going back to Al Gore and George Bush when they ran against each other and the votes being miscounted and things like that. People started saying, you know, do our votes actually count? Is this rigged? And that was, you know, maybe 15, 16 years ago. And now we're seeing, you know, the media bring attention to a lot of these quote unquote conspiracy theories that they know they need to discredit because they see people out there are waking up. So what they do is they will talk about it. And they will mock it and they will make a joke of it. They will make light of it so that the masses hear that and they roll their eyes. They go, oh, what's the RFID chip? Well, it's this chip that they'll, you know, you can get put in your hand. But there's these crazy conspiracy theorists out there who think it's the mark of the beast and actually believe in the Bible. And then people go, oh, come on with these people. That's how this works. So here's this one article. It's talking about it moving into the mainstream. Uh, they're saying blame the millennial mindset of convenience at all costs, or shrug it off as a natural technology, technological progression, the inability of a society to close a Pandora's box once it's open. But what's becoming increasingly clear is what used to be regarded as creepy and science fiction-like has now gone mainstream. That's because they they conditioned people over years through film, through articles like this, you know, to be prepared for the microchip. It's one of the reasons they started making it mandatory for animals to have it to travel. And they trick people with this, you know, oh, your animal should have it. What if he gets lost? Then you'll be able to find him. And people got scared. They said, yeah, what if my dog runs away? I don't ever want to lose my dog. So they would trick people into getting, you know, their animals and stuff microchip. But this is all part of the conditioning process. And the reason, like this article even says, that it went from being regarded as creepy and science fiction like, and now it's gone mainstream. It's because the media has been conditioning people for the last 20 years or so about the chip. And people at first were going, oh, that's really weird. But as we've seen technology grow, right, we, you know, 20 years ago, the cell phone really didn't exist. You had the cell phone in the car, but not everybody had a cell phone. Okay, some people have beepers and things like that. Now, if you don't have a cell phone, you're considered bizarre, weird, creepy. You probably couldn't get hired for a job if you didn't have a cell phone because they'd say, something's wrong with this guy. He doesn't have a cell phone. Because that's the conditioning they put us under. For somebody to stand out there and go, well, why do I need a cell phone? Well, why wouldn't you need one? Well, I don't know. If I need to call somebody, can't I just, you know, find a phone and call somebody on a phone? I mean, everybody walking around has got a phone, so maybe I could tap someone on the shoulder and ask someone to make a phone call. No, no, it's just really weird not to have it. Because they've conditioned everybody with technology, you know, over the last couple decades. And now people are, are used to stuff like this, so it doesn't seem weird. It doesn't seem scary to them. But we're seeing people who are openly bragging about getting this technology in. But like I said, they'll bring light to the mark of the beast. They'll bring, you know, they'll make fun of uh, Christian websites, uh, sites that'll talk about it being the actual mark from the book of Revelations. And people will laugh and they'll see that. So we're seeing more and more people do it. We're seeing in Australia, people are paying. There's companies that are actually offering this. And now, like I said, it's going mainstream. You're going to slowly see it go mainstream. And some of these articles are even saying 2017, which, you know, obviously it's only speculation. I mean, nobody knows when they'll actually roll it out. Obviously, the conditioning needs to get, uh, you know, even bigger. They need to do more conditioning, but they have to create an event that'll cause fear. They have to create something like a massive cyber attack where it could be a gigantic hoax where they say, you know, hundreds of thousands of people uh, were hacked online and all of their money was taken out of their bank account. All their personal information was stolen. And, you know, oh my goodness, what are we going to do? Everybody will be in fear. And then they'll say the one way to prevent this is by getting this RFID chip implanted. You Nobody can steal it because it's in your DNA. Nobody can steal your information. Nobody can steal your money. You know, they'd have to pretty much, you know, cut the thing out of your body. I mean, you know, to a point where it would be like, oh, okay, well, that probably would never happen to me, right? Nobody would cut it out of me. So I'd be safe for I never have to worry about things getting stolen from me out of my bank account. I never have to worry about, uh, you know, online identity theft, fraud, and somebody taking my social security and all of this stuff, because everything will be electronically inside of you. So I have felt for a while that it would take, you know, them doing some gigantic fear event like that to make people, you know, jump on board and go, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I don't want to lose all my money. I don't want this to happen. And of course, like this article even talks about it, you know, it is going mainstream now because you're seeing more and more, you know, people come forward, articles on people who are getting the chip, videos on people on YouTube who have gotten the chip, you know, trying to walk around going, look how cool it is. Look great. You know, and what's next is they're going to use these celebrities to start pushing this. The celebrities are going to come forward. Kim Kardashian's like, look, I don't have to carry a wallet around, you know, oh, because it's so difficult to carry a wallet, by the way. I mean, they make it seem like you're carrying, you know, a, a, a 
an anvil in your pocket. Oh, millennials. Oh, the wallet. It's so much. I just want my phone on me. And they'll have, you know, Kim Kardashian walk up and buy something and just swipe her wrist. And people say, wow, that's so cool. And they'll make it seem like it's nothing, like it's no big deal. And they'll say, listen, I've had the microchip for years. I'm not, look, I didn't catch fire. Satan didn't come and take me away. I mean, uh, you know, God didn't strike me down with lightning. Everything's fine, people. And people will go along with it. But it is going mainstream. More and more people, you know, are okay with this. And they're writing more and more articles on it because they want to make sure people are not afraid of it, that people aren't looking at it as some freakish technology that they're going, oh yeah, I had heard about the microchip years ago. Oh, now I'm seeing people get it. Oh, I see it's not dangerous. Okay, I guess I can get the microchip. And it recently, there's been a lot of articles that have been written about the microchip and it going mainstream and it come possibly, you know, being forced upon people in 2017 or at least being, you know, an option where you can, everybody can get it. They don't have to go to some crazy measures to get it in the United States. You know, they can actually just go somewhere and get the chip installed, maybe even go to a bank, who knows, you know, who knows what they have planned. But I just want to do a video on this because I'm seeing more and more stuff about the microchip, the RFID chip, and and the correlation with the mark of the beast, where they're they're actually discrediting and mocking Christians with it, saying, "Oh, here come the crazy Christians again, saying that this is the mark." They're doing it in all these articles, and there's a reason that they do that. There's a reason they want to discredit. There's a reason that they mock it. It's part of the conditioning process. It's part of getting people to laugh it off and think that it's not as serious as it is when it is indeed serious. So I'll leave the articles linked up if you want to read it. The mark of the beast is now going mainstream, folks. That's what people are saying. It's going mainstream. It's been here for a while. The technology's been here for a while. Now we're seeing people actually out in the open have it, and we're seeing the media discredit the mark of the beast and mention it with the RFID chip, kind to condition people into thinking that this is the new wave of technology that everybody should sign up for. Well, not me. I'm not interested. I'll see you in the woods. I thank you for listening to today's show. God bless all of you and your families. May peace be with you.